Welcome to another episode of this platform tutorial series. In this episode we will look at how to make keys and doors. So let's get started. So right here I'm in my scene and we first need to get a key sprite. So I found this one on Google and I'm gonna link it in the description. But I'll right click and save this one and call it key. Then I'll head back into Unity and click on our sprites where I've saved the key. Then I'll drag it into the game and you can see it's way too big. So I'll scale it down to a 0.15. 0.15, 0.15, like so, and I will just name it key instead of key zero. Then I'll add a box collider 2D and set it to is trigger, and I'll put the key over here. And let's create a door right here, so you have to collect the key for this door to open. So I'll right click, go to 2D object, go to sprites, and choose a square. So this is not going to be a pretty door. I'll just do a gray one, and then I'll just upscale it like so and put it over here, like this. So a very ugly door, but it will work. Then I'll add a box collider 2D, of course. And then we need to create the key script. So go to assets, then go to scripts, right click, go to create and do mono behavior script. I'll call it key, open that up. In here, I'll delete the update and start function. And then I'll add a public game object reference, which I will call door. So this will be the reference to a door. And then we can add an on trigger enter 2D. In here, I'll do if collision.gameObject the tag equals player spelled exactly this way so you need to spell it the exact same way as the player tag well then we will destroy the door and we'll also destroy itself so we'll do destroy game object and when we just write game object like this it means the game object which the script is attached to so this is all we need in here now we can go back into unity and we can click on our key and drag the key script onto the game object and now we have a door reference right here so we'll drag this square which we haven't renamed so i'll just rename it to door real quick and then we'll click on the key again and then drag the door game object over here so now let's play the game and the door is blocking the way so i'll go over here and collect this and as you can see oh i fell down but as you can see um the door disappeared so perfect hope you learned something new today and also if you have a hard time with all of these unity tutorials on youtube which i personally had when i started my unity journey well then check out my paid community where i have a course where you go from beginner to an intermediate where you can make 2d and 3d games and you learn all the c sharp you need you will also get direct access to me well check that out in the link in the description it's such a great course